And sorry, as soon as I hit start the stream, Lucius was just like, let me the fuck out of here. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> per the usual, you know. Ah. <sighs> Mm, that's right. He does not. It's too loud for him. I'm all right. How are you? Working, keeping you nice and busy and exhausted. All right, what quests are we currently working on? Last date, which means we have to show up tonight. That's seven. That we need poisoned. Which we haven't found an enemy to poison us, so that's fun. Chocoboreal, luminous mushrooms, and cream mushrooms. Angel's Tears, which requires me to show up. For that, we have to do Buried Passion. My goodness, so many things to do. I don't have time to play. Oh, you're not working? It is a nice theme. It's the Final Fantasy XIV Orchestral, I believe. I think you might like it. Mm -hmm. you know. like Funnily enough, the three outfits we're using all change the theme. Uh, obviously, the cloud changes into the seven theme. Uh, te uh, the Yuna outfit changes it to 10, and the cat girl changes it to uh, 14. Also, hello, Fuzzy. How you doing? A good chunk of the last ones wiped out. And by good chunk, I mean like very few. Any monsters in this game, but I mean, we took out the gremlins, the mini flans, we've taken out the niblets. So, some of the biggest, most obnoxious tiny boys. Meh. 
I got turned the fuck around, didn't I? Shoot. Please. Bull. Honky. Definitely have to be coming back here to continue wiping shit out as they continue to surprise me. Watch out, I fly. Now I could have teleported to where I needed to go, but I decided not to. Walking is good for your health. Good old big and wedge. No need for illusions. Time just continue to tick on by. Oh, nice, a behemoth in town. Nice. I don't plan on losing. <laughs> Probably could have used Kiraga right before we killed him, but whatever. Okay, actually, let us. Let's go to the south station. She won't be here until four. Um, so go, I hope you can make every and a power booster. Didn't realize I actually had something right there. You did a fantastic job, Lightning. I was just checking. <laughs> The vast majority of the monsters in this area don't exist anymore because they were mostly the Niblets and the Gremlins. 
There's like two or three more areas that have regular monsters and then one area that has very dangerous monsters. I might talk to you today. Come back later. Okay, I did. Right, you are done. So then what we need to do. Ugh. Let's go back to that place. Got a lot of, like, after 7 p.m. quests to do. Oh. Okay, I'm going to Yogg. I want to eat minced slug. I did hear something about some red mushroom being found in Rocky Creek. Where is the frickin'? Hunter head. Everyone drop what you're doing and eat. That's all. I'd love to report back to the chief if he would fucking be around. You guys are assholes. I hate them. We meet again. Wish I had my bow. dicks because they'll just I can't figure out what makes it so that they will summon sometimes they'll summon sometimes they won't so they're dicks well why don't you stop using uh, moves that will heal them shut up <laughs> that makes sense shut up I'll just wing it for the new world. <laughs> Wiping out the dryads would be amazing, but I don't think it's possible prior to me starting um, another area quest. Hanuman's we have not fought yet. 
these assholes we have, so win. Well, we don't got any win, so. Choco Bobo has not been fully healed a Bobo Bobo. Our Choco Bowden. I'll just wing it. I'm going to change course. Old chonkin' monkin is just a chonkin' monkin' pain in the bonkin'. <laughs> What's the problem? It's Bulbasaur! Show him what you can do. I mean, are we even surprised?
fight with me. You're nothing but the hunter's prey. Honestly... I need to start upgrading my skills anyway, so might as well do it all. <laughs>
A shiny? A rocky crag mole? I need to keep out for a, keep an out for keep an eye out for a couple more of those wrecking mole crags because that's a canvas quest if I remember correctly. This one wants me to get some chuckaboral. This one needs vegetable seeds. This one needs wonder gel. Amp chip. Green moss. I need to do one more of those. I got that. Choco Chow, I've got, not that. Digging Mole, oh, I got that one, got that one. Don't have the Luminous Mushrooms, haven't found that yet. And I need a ton of Moon Soul Blossoms. Woo! This is a fine adventure. Guess it comes to this. I wish I had a fanfare to play behind me whenever I did something successful in life. Let's explore this direction for now. Let's start a stampede.
Guess it comes to this. The Hanumen are just Hanu Anoimenumenen. Can't believe I did not fail that, but I'll take it. Regular Hanuman is going to be a little bit of a very annoying Hanuman. The last one, that is. Does this thing even have sixty thou? Okay. Okay, we're looking for one last Yule flower, which is actually, funnily enough, kind of exactly where we're heading. I guess I'll fight these monkeys. So many fucking monkeys. Let's <laughs> go. 
right in the butt. Exactly where we need to put it. The sword, that is. I wish I had my bow. This takes me to the Ermite Plains, which is what we want to do. Because that's where the last Yule Flower is. Fuck. Come on. Show them what you can do. No more lies, just the truth. Shine hope on the future. God, everything we're gonna fight in this is gonna suck. Well, they're just regular monkeys, but still. This is a fine adventure. Now let's look for the non-existent purple seeds, because this game doesn't like to give them to you.
Ugh. Oh, there's a purple seed. Why is it all the way over there is my question. Why are they all the way back here? This isn't even close to where the bubble was. Whatever. What upper? Ready for this? And this is not a banana seed. It is the soul butt seed. Keep up if you can. Why do they summon? Them with a passion. Can't wait to exterminate them. No more lies, just the truth. I will say, it does feel so good when you get to absolutely demolish their butts. Ah, that's butts. Oh well. Hello, random person. Well. Okay, where do I need to go? Just straight, cool. For a Yule flower. That's on a hill. That's gonna be fun to look for. Debris from a wreckage. Oh, there's the Yule flower. Nice. Those flowers are still blooming here. You're still not fully healed? I gave you all the Yule's flowers, though. Well, oh well. <laughs> there aren't any more.
Wrong mod! You're a fucking moron! I know. No, oh, we're in the wrong one again! Watch out, I bite. I'm very harsh to myself sometimes. Let's start a stampede. the new world. This guy for now. I'm counting on you. Oh, he immediately did that. Flame. I wish the game kind of gave you a clue as to how many monsters there were in each group, either in totality or, like, 
Just how many before you've wiped them all out of the existence of the world. Because you would think they'd have some kind of a clue, like... Of course, pure speculation on my part, of course. That really just takes us back to where we've already been. So let's go ahead and start quest five. Plus, everyone will be really happy to see one of their favorite characters. I'm counting on you. You can't fool me. want to fight another one of these guys but we need to we can do this I hate it when they start off with exfoliating fire I've got nothing for them Oh, did you 
Yes! For the new world. Job mine that Choco Bow. Watch out, I bite. Guess it comes to this. Could I make my life easier if I actually, like, utilize good accessories? Yeah. Am I gonna? No. That requires constant optimization depending on what enemy spawns in front of my face. And, uh, I am lazy. It's honest to God a miracle I beat half of the games I play. With how lazy I am when it comes to optimiz optimization. And Englishing. I guess you could say my English is subpar. I do not like this pudding. It Let's tastes a, a little metallic, you know? Ice? I got no ice for ya, bitch. Which was your least favorite chapter in this game of mod? Or main quest, I guess would be the easier way to say it. That's the one I always do last, simply because I don't want to. The timed dungeons at that? <laughs> Ugh. But, you do have to admit, Fangs did have the ability for you to fight the super boss, if you hated yourself. Both of them, actually. Because there are two.
There's the, you must beat this enemy X speed or else you get expelled and have to do it again. And then there's the actual super boss. They're not actually super, they're actually kind of sad and annoying and I hate it. But super boss is a nice way to say it. Hmm, is this a downed airship? No. Originally, now it looks as though it's someone's home. We could go in there, or I could run away. Ha 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 ha! us alone. What are you doing here? Oh. Dot, is he asleep? Yeah, he's been like that for centuries. Silent as death. Ever since the chaos came and destroyed everything. His body's still alive, but his soul, it's not in there. What's that? It's a coffer of souls. If I can collect enough soul fragments, Dodge will wake up. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, could just be a lie, though. Who gave it to you? Lumina. Enough talk. I, um, I gotta look after my son. Mm, I, uh, gotta look after my son. The Choco Chick wants to tell you something. Follow oh, it! You've gotta be able to find something about Dodge's condition. Saz is... I can't let him go. <laughs> I know, Lightning. I was listening, too. I'll look into it. It's difficult to say what exactly is wrong with Dodge. Physically, he seems fine, but I detect no mental activity. None. Is Not it? even dreams. It's as, if, it's as if he's in a coma. He's just not in there. No. I don't even know if the coffer of souls that Lumina gave Saz can really help him. But poor Saz will do anything if it might bring Dodge back. Even searching for soul fragments. I want to do something to help, but I don't know where to start. I should have come to Dodge to tell me more, but the state he was in, he might not have been able to. My goodness me, if it isn't the savior, fancy meeting you here. Don't go acting all sweet and innocent, Lumina. I know it's no coincidence that you're here. Lumina. Oh, so you think that I'm lurking around here, hiding poor little Daja's soul. Is that it? Something like that. Nope. Though you're right that it's no coincidence. I'm here because I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm just so worried about whether you'll be able to save Saz. Save Saz? What about Dodge? Whatever. You can save both, if you'd really like. But you must have noticed that dear daddy soul is getting crushed. Right, Savior? I like how the way to beat this game <laughs> is you have to save your companions' souls. They don't care about if you save anybody else's souls. It's like a fragment. Chocolina has something. One of the Soul Seed Traders has it. A Cactair. Use non Slaughterhouse. Come on, behave. What is it? Finally! Huh, is that right? 
You're feeling just like your old self again, are ya? I'm glad to hear it. He's made a complete recovery. Well done, Lightning. The Angel of Valhalla is fit and ready to fight again. It's all thanks to you. Dr. Ghazal had more to do with it than anyone. He's been learning about the Chocobo for more than a century. It's a good reminder of what people can do when they care enough and work together. Yes, if you say so. But there's still one mystery. Who was the young woman? The one who spoke to you and to Dr. Ghazal? I don't know. I can tell you, but... I'll follow the legend and go to that temple. Maybe I'll find her there. If I do, I want to thank her for bringing me and this chocobo together. Well, now our chocobo will be giving us the most supremo helpo. South Station. I'm not planning on doing main quests, finishing quest three just yet. First, we gotta get the Cry Girl Tears quest. All right, Luca. You really wanna see the tears of an angel, don't you? Well then, let's see. The price for today is... Exorbitant! I'm so sorry. I know this is getting old, but I don't think I can sell them to you after all. Look, if you can't sell me any, why don't you just tell me in the first place? Well, let me ask you this. Why do you insist on buying them when they're not what you're after in the first place? I know deep down, you really want something else. You're a mind reader too. Don't be coy. It's just that Don't I can be read coy. people sometimes. I can sense what they're after. Look at you, blessed with all these hidden talents. All right, what is it that I'm really after? No need to be snide. What you're after is is gone, never to return. You lost something that was dear to you, an irreplaceable bond of some kind. <sighs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm just a kid that's always been a little bit more perceptive than others, that's all. For some reason, I can sense what people want and how they're feeling. My tears are therapeutic for them. I don't understand how it is that your tears can help people with their problems. Well, everyone's been alive for so long now, their hearts are old and worn. They don't know how to feel anymore. Their hearts! Their tears have all dried up. People have lived for so long with feelings of sorrow and despair that it's become a natural part of them now. They don't even notice it anymore. They can't cry because they've forgotten how. That's why I do it for them. When people see my tears, it helps them remember how they used to feel. Yeah! I think people should be able to laugh when they're happy and cry when they're sad. The angel's tears you sell mend people's hearts. I'll admit that's admirable. I believe you can't smile a genuine smile without being able to cry genuine tears. I just help them remember what it's like. But I can't heal you with my tears. That's why I don't cry for you. Sorry. <laughs> then what about you? Do you ever cry for yourself to mend your own heart? Huh? For me? No, I haven't done that in a long time. At least not for centuries, I'm guessing. I think so. Why do you ask? Just curious. She heals people by crying for those who can't, but she can't cry for herself. Her tears have become nothing more than a tool for her trade. An item to sell. No one seems to notice that like everyone else, her heart needs healing too. Her heart needs healing too. I hear you ran into old Sazzy again. How is he? Not great. Not great at all. 
He's so focused on this one thing, he can barely think about anything else. Well, he has a right to be. Daj has been asleep for centuries. You can tell, can't you, that I'm terribly worried about them too. I wish I could help, but he would never ever ask me to. And sadly, he'd never let me. I heard the reason Daj can't wake up is because his soul has left his body. Is that true? It is. And not only that, it's been shattered into five fragments and scattered all over the world! That's what Saz is working so hard to collect, the fragments! So, when all five pieces are located, will he wake up? Yes, indeedy. Oh, you also need a coffer of souls, but I think Saz already has one. Lucky for you! The one and only way you can help him is to find all five fragments! What a wonderful present that would make! Wonderful Thanks for present! telling me all this. I don't think I could have dragged this out of Saz. Not the way he is now. I'm just happy to be of help. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I've already found one of the fragments all by myself. It's the one called the Smile Fragment. I know it's something that Saz needs, but it's not really an item per se. So, I can't give it to you to give to him on my behalf. How do you propose you get it to him then? With this magically spectacular canvas of prayers. Take a look and you'll find what you need. Come on now, time's a wasting. I want you to say meow meow choco chow. Again, a beloved's gift. Uh Whatever. Once you collect everything. All right. I think the next time we come here for that tomorrow should be the end of her stuff. Uh, this one starts at seven. Plus, there's like two or three other quests we got to start at seven. So I'm gonna go see if that freaking guy is back in Yag uh, Village. Etro disciple. Supposedly, that's all I know. There's a village, and those foot I call them zealots, but they. Where the heck is the village chief? I will head to the Etro Temple. Especially with my buddy here casting incredibly high level magics. Thanks for waiting. I like how the Anubis only start showing up after 4 p.m. They're like, oh, it's my shift, guys!
which is inhabited by followers of Etro. They were run out of the city and being held. They fled here, a land blighted by the goddess's temple, where no others dare to tread. I wish I could have just landed on Choco Bowden's back. Tell me, do you know of the Grail of Valhalla? It is a most holy treasure that lies hidden somewhere within the Temple of Valhalla. And why are you asking me? Because I sense that you may have been touched by the chaos. Which means you may have some kind of connection to the vessel. It is filled with the divine grace of the goddess herself. Divine grace. Vessel? So this grail, is it like a flask or a casket? No one has laid eyes upon it. But if you are indeed the chosen one spoken of in the legends, then the angel will take you to the temple. And there you, you may, may set, set eyes on it. So you want me to look for something that nobody knows about. Got it. I'll be honest, I don't like this quest either. Completed that task. From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the savior's job. The temple of the goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the great chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart. And it was unleashed by one man, all because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. Caius!
presence appeared in the temple, and the chaos reacted to it. Is someone manipulating the chaos somehow? Or does it actually have a will of its own? The chaos in that temple is not the normal kind. That is obvious enough. looking for what are you trying to do there are no souls here for you to save just dead people waiting for the end to come I knew it you know nothing you don't know what this place is but I do it's a graveyard for the living dead no one here seeks your salvation We seek only oblivion. So, we meet again, Caius Ballad. It's been a while, woman who would be goddess. But you are no goddess now. You are a hunter of souls. <laughs> And that right there is why I hate this dungeon. I you'd be dead by now. Ah, death, were it so. But they won't let me die. Instead, I must haunt these halls, a corpse living a life bereft of meaning. Savior, the temple of the goddess has become a shrine to chaos. A shrine to chaos. A world where the living dare not tread. But if they do, they must be ready to face the death. Hey, when you're inside this temple, you're going to lose your powers. You don't belong here. You should leave while you can. Are you giving me safety tips? That's not like you. So, you're, uh, going after him. You must really hate him. Though I guess he did destroy the world, right? Hmm. <laughs> huh. Light, are you okay? Respond if you can hear me. I'm fine, but it was a long fall. How far down am I? Can you tell? You seem to be on the lowest level of the temple. Give me a second to find a route out. That was an unpleasant surprise, though. To think that Caius was still alive. I wonder, why would that man be trying to use the great chaos to thwart God's plans to go? The line is full of noise. It's interference from the chaos. And it's probably not too good for your health, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This great chaos is incredibly dense. My instruments can't handle it. The readings are off the scale. I'm not picking up any Oh god! No wrong time to get the last one! Have to win. Ah! Uh-oh. The cycle of death ends now. For the new world.
keep up if you can. Even know I'll beat him with all this. Fuck off! Oh my Jesus. Took me two minutes to beat him because one, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> and then two, I really wasn't ready for that. can't detect anything doesn't mean there's nothing lurking inside. And I am in the worst place to be stuck with this. Because I'm constantly being drained of my health. To tell you what's going on. <laughs> ah! You're probably right. It's not called unseen chaos for nothing. Your strength seems to be flagging. Light, be careful, okay? Ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white, the angel of Valhalla. It was your voice. You were the one that I heard in the wildlands. Through the chaos, my message was born. I spoke so that you might know the future, and so that you would learn of my wish and make it true. Only the savior can. It must be you. Me? What do you want me to do? Save the soul that cannot rest. Please, save Caius. He has lost his undying heart. He no longer wants to live. He yearns to die. But he cannot. The chaos binds him and forces life upon him. So, the man who wanted to stop time has managed to stop his own. And now, he's trapped. As the savior, you have to help him. Bring him salvation and release his soul. The man got his wish and absolutely hates it. Yet, but her presence here is no coincidence. She's connected with this chaos one way or another. The unseen chaos. I guess you can't see what I'm seeing, but there are a 
lights down here. I think someone is trying to show me the way. I guess I'll follow the trail. I hate that we found a Hanuman that meant I had to basically use up all of my uh, health and shit. The hunter's prey. Use that metagard to uh, get all that health back as she much as I can. Over and over again until Caius managed to break the cycle. She should be dead, but instead, she's alive. Thanks to these guys, we are getting some HP back. No, not these guys, though.
Yeah, I got a good chunk of health back, so I'll take that, I guess. Like, no, I don't want to fight you guys. I really, really don't. Your fate awaits you ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 
Full heal, and then I also got two of that back. Let's go. So because Kaya stopped the world, which stopped all birth, death, and everything, all the Yules that he wanted to save are now actually trapped. Are you doing okay? It looks like Kaya's curse is getting you. So really, Kaya's just made everything worse. He suffers because of us. Savior, can you save him? You're not the same Yule. The Seeress would die before she was grown and be reborn again and again. There's a Yule for every life. The same Yule, but all different. Right. And that's why they contradict each other. Some Yules don't want him to die, so they force him to keep on living. Others want to help him die, so that his soul can be saved. They push and pull, it's a mass of contradictions. I don't want to be involved. You already are. You've been sucked right into the middle. What do I do? Why don't you ask her? <sighs> the truth lies ahead. I like Yule's song. It's like. For millennia, Yules were born into the world over and over. The they shared the same soul. They were the same person in every incarnation. Each Yule was different, but each of her souls was born with the very same heavy burden. And as each soul returned to the chaos, it was drawn to the others. Now, they've become one. A cancerous mass of sorrow and pain and longing. That's what lives here in this temple. That's... Yule is cancer? No, yeah, I can see that. What Yule is. She is the source. Of... The great chaos.
I would prefer not to have to come back in here, which is why I'm trying to be as careful as possible when it comes to, you know, fighting everything or finding all the items and... These nerds. <laughs> that one. I am the one to blame for this crisis. And your part in it. Now, I wish to do something to help. What do you mean? How are you to blame? This is the power of chaos. This is the darkness contained within our souls. It is the source of our wrongdoing and its result. Your suffering, Caius's nightmares, they were born of us. Elementa! And in your condition, you won't survive another encounter with him. Try to heal as you go. Now! Can't make me. at full and we've got a reaver coming up totally optional which naturally means we're gonna fight him I 
Don't plan on losing. Okay, lightning. Does anyone plan on losing? No. Got a full heal just as he died. Oh yeah. The nice thing about Caius is that he does not have a uh, chaos form. As in, like, it doesn't matter when you fight him. His difficulty remains the exact same way. This is where it came from. Dipshit. It is because of our wishes that you are here. No, it's because the game makes me come here. The chaos that surrounds the Yules. I know that darkness all too well. It's the unseen chaos. It's not like I could forget. Boy. It is time. There is something we have to tell you. You need to know who we are. What we are. This is chaos from the unseen realm. Why? What's going on? My readings are off the charts. Can you hear me? It was us. We destroyed the world. You're the source of the original chaos. The chaos that burst from the unseen realm. You lived countless different lives. Born over and over each time with a new soul. To live and see Caius again. With each death, our prayers grew more desperate, layer upon layer, until the weight made them collapse into a single dark mass. Once the unseen chaos was created, it could not be stopped. It reached out and dragged you into the other realm. It broke the dam that the goddess had built. It shattered the boundaries between worlds. So, this all began because you couldn't let go of Caius? The chaos, in all its power, grew out of your need. Need? Yes. I needed him more than anything. He was everything to me. The fear of being alone consumed me. Became monstrous. It is the unseen chaos. The strands of our minds woven together. We are one and the same. We are the ones who yearn to be with him. We are the ones who give him life when he cries for death. But we are also the ones who pray that he finds peace at last. We are a contradiction that cannot be resolved. And the chaos is our love for him. Which really sucks for Null, because all the Yules except for one... I know whose power it was that destroyed the world. Loves the souls of all the Gaius. Yules. They've grown together like a cancer. They are the unseen chaos. The souls of Yule. 
This yours? Yes. Those poor girls were destined to die before they could grow old. Their feelings and thoughts became part of the chaos, made it powerful, gave it purpose. <laughs> If it's released, it'll destroy everything we're trying to do. Then we obviously can't let the Yules go on unchecked. I can't see what you see, but if Yule's there, can you try calling out to her? See if you can stop her. I don't know how much luck I'll have. Even she doesn't seem to have full control. If we want to keep this chaos in check, the only way might be to do what she wants. And what Yule wants more than anything is for Caius to be saved. In this dying world, nothing is more precious than time. Why do you waste it on me? Does my victory still sting? Do you seek vindication? I'm not here to fight you. That won't wipe out the past. So you're here as the savior, to offer me salvation. It's for Yule's sake. She asked me. I refuse. I refuse. I'm not asking for permission. The chaos here needs to be brought under control. I'm gonna do what Yule asks. You think you know what she wants. Even if one Yule prays for my salvation, another demands the opposite. Very well. Do your best, Hunter of Souls. Cleave the evil from me and save me, if you can. If you wish to have my soul... You must take it by force. No more destiny, no more fate. Let's end this once and for all. Servants of the curse. <laughs> Chaos is not 
I win. <laughs> Five star. Let's go. You are the hunter of souls, but you cannot claim mine. Behold. Even if one Yule desires my salvation, another demands my rebirth. With each death and life, Yule's soul was splintered anew, the divided fragments melting into the ocean of chaos. She is one and many, a contradiction. When Yule pleads for my salvation, she speaks the truth. But at the same time, Yule cannot let me go. She must keep me here. So Yule is never gonna let you go? She is but a child. And a child needs to be looked after, especially when she is doomed to stay alone in the chaos. Yule is the unseen chaos, and the chaos will consume any world that it touches. She was always cursed, from the very beginning. Her power is too great, even if she wishes no harm. The very existence of the Chaos must distort and warp reality. So tell me, Savior, in the world that God is building, can you welcome her with open arms? No, you cannot. It is a new future, and there is no place for her in it. We must stay here. The Chaos is where we belong. That's your plan? You'll stay here with Yule, and be destroyed along with the world. I am an empty shell. My soul is rotted away. I shall cast this body into the chaos. I shall be the shepherd of all the souls. Destined to wander the darkness, never to be reborn in the new world. Is this how you hope to atone for what you did? Do you think you can wash away the sin of destroying a world? be with Caius. I want to stay. If you don't want salvation, I can do nothing. Now leave us, Savior. Do not confuse you all any longer. dragged into Valhalla? It was all because of the power of the unseen chaos. And the chaos came from that girl, reborn and splintered, generation after generation. For Mule. It's under control for now, but the chaos could burst out again anytime. So you won't save everyone after all. Do you think you can live with that? I can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. Yeah! Mm -hmm. 
Savior, can you hear my voice? Yul, it was you I heard. You spoke to me when I arrived in the Wildlands. I could see everything. I could see what you had to do here. So I called out from within the chaos to all the people, past and future. I spoke to every person who would listen to me. Right. The doctor and everyone else here. Bit by bit, you managed to tell the story. And that story turned into a legend about the Angel of Valhalla, shared by everyone here. Then I owe you my thanks. I don't think we'd have found each other if it wasn't for you, telling that story. I only pointed the way to your destiny. You and he have always been bound by the strands of fate, since long before you came to the Wildlands. He was always yours. Your steed, your knight, your champion. You. It was It's Choco Bowden. <laughs> a hell of a disguise. You had me fooled. Odin, my faithful friend. It's good to see you again. Yay! Choco bo 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 choco bowden. from Luxarian, Yusnan, and other cities that have since been swallowed by the chaos. But then, as now, the, their almighty... Some of my brothers and sisters took up arms and fought back against the Order. However... This village stands at the edge of the Goddess's Holy Land. Only the Chosen One has the power to cross over to the Temple of the Goddess. Chosen by the White Angel! Exactly. I copied some of the more interesting looking stuff. What do you think? Is there a chance that you can decode it? <laughs> of course I can. If, that is, I have the one and only copy of the legendary scriptures of the goddess Etro. Well, let me get this straight. If I want to decipher these mystery glyphs, I need a legendary book. A book so rare that only one of them exists? Not all things that exist have physical form. The scriptures of which I speak are inside my mind. Do you understand? Give me a copy of the glyphs, and I shall translate them. I am, however, a capricious man, and I cannot guarantee I will speak the truth. I cannot guarantee that I'll be honest. And I shall decipher them. What do they say? 
Born by wings of white, the chosen one flies across heaven's path to where the sacred vessel lies. The word vessel here is almost certainly a reference to the Grail of Valhalla. Which means I need to find the Heaven's Path, right? Yes, it would appear so. I believe you have stumbled on a valuable clue. Born by wings, it appears... Ancient times, if everyone's still alive from that time, even though it was like 500 years ago? That's a good question. Another fragment. I should keep searching. They might be clues to tracking down the Grail. Flying up there or down here? We have much. I pray the goddess Arcus. Up there. We worship that. Exactly! The shards scattered along Heaven's Path are themselves the remains of the Sacred Grail. All that remains now is for me to restore the treasure to what it once was. There, the Grail of Valhalla. Here it belongs to you. <sighs> Finally, I have achieved what I set out to do. My real objective was to find the true vessel. The true vessel? I understand now. The Grail of Valhalla is said to be filled with the divine grace of the goddess herself. But it is not a man-made object. It is a living thing. The person who has inherited the goddess's grace. You see, Naruto, just as I am the safekeeper of the scriptures, the vessel that keeps the sacred wisdom safe. You, who can navigate heaven's path, are the vessel that contains the Etro Benediction. You are the true grail of Valhalla. Thank you. You have shown me the truth. The truth that I devoted my life to finding.
Got a good chunk of uh She's like, no, I reject it. Even if my heart was big enough for such a thing, I don't feel anything there. If I am a vessel, I am an empty one. Chocobo Eater? It's very scary. Can you guess why it's called a Chocobo Eater? Bet you can't. Yes, that's right. It likes to nibble because on Chocobos. Cho Not every... Anyway, this choke... And I've been hearing rumors that what the hunters of Yogd are all shaking in their boots. Their Chocobo steeds mean everything. We spent many years cultivating our fields. Ah, another disaster! Those woolly-headed ovine have done it again! What goes on in those tiny heads of theirs? Why do they those do this? Those tiny heads! Sounds like you have more sheep trouble. I'd say I do! The fuzzy sheep have affected a mass escape! Every single one of them gone! Doctor, you must calm down. What? Oh, sorry. You could hear me from over there? <laughs> they could hear you back in Luxarian, I'd say. Oh, it's just I'm so, so upset. upset. <clears throat> uh, this young lady is Millie, a good friend of mine. Now, a good Millie, friend. did you need something? Nothing. It's just that, well, I think I know why the sheep ran away. You, you do? Pray tell. Last night, I heard some kind of ruckus around the pens. I couldn't tell what it was, but I'm thinking it must have put the sheep into a panic. Maybe it was some kind of monster, and it tried to get at the sheep. Hmm, I see. So the sheep were terrorized by the occurrences of the night. Something reminded them of it, and they bolted en masse. Well, that certainly would explain their behavior. But I'm no closer to getting them back. It is near impossible to hurt a whole flock of panicked sheep. The only thing that could drive them back is something bigger and scarier than what they saw in the night. Something like a chocobo. Chasing the flock. Got it. Right. I thought this would come to me. It's always. You want me to round up your flock. Not that it would be a bad idea. My chocobo needs to stretch his legs. <sighs> stretch his legs. I don't know. in the goddamn pan. Broken. Fucking sheep. Thank you. 
Odin. Sometimes I feel like chronostasis is longer or shorter in aspects. Am I too far out to find these other big ass shapies? Get out of here! Get! Get! What? Okay. Ah, controllers! Stop it! Get your ass in there. Okay, where'd the last one go? Some sheep are wandering nearby. I don't think any others came this far, so. I doubt they went up this hill, but. I'm gonna go check anyway. Now you know. Right back. the slowest of the bunch.
Okay, because I have to talk to Dr. Sheep. Words are not enough to express the depth of my gratitude, but thank you. Don't lose them again. Indeed, that mystery remains unsolved. Why do they flee in the first place? Millie suggested that a monster put a scare into them. Hmm, she's nowhere to be seen. That's not like her. Things to do, maybe? Yes, perhaps, but I'm a bit worried. She seems a little troubled in recent days. If I see her, I'll talk to her. I'd be grateful if you did. Ah, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing of all. I must present you with your just reward. Some milk. myself an expert in the culinary arts. Culinary arts. <laughs> but I have not been able to practice my true skill these many years. My master taught me his greatest recipes, but together we only made them but one time. Now the world stands on the edge of destruction, and I fear I will never make them again. I'd like to help, but about the only dish I can cook is behemoth steak on a campfire. What I need is much simpler than that. I require only a few small but vital ingredients. Which you can't in find. Ingredients. Exactly. Especially in this day and age. Are you sapples? Mademoiselle, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. I'll once again be able to craft the masterpieces of my forebears. Where these assholes are there? <laughs> Too many.
thinking. I'm a fool. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, well, well. All right, I'll confess. It was me who did it. I was the one who made all the sheep run away like that. There was no monster. There never was. In the dead of night, I saddled up a chocobo and rode around the pens, whooping and shouting. And that's what panicked the sheep? But why would you do that? Well, it's complicated. You see, I really wanted to give Dr. Sheep a reason to talk to you. So that's what this has been all about. Wouldn't it have been easier to just introduce us, like normal people do? He's been excited ever since he heard about your arrival in the Wildlands. But he's terribly shy, the doctor. He'd never be able to just approach a stranger, no matter how much I prodded him. Not in normal circumstances, it just wasn't going to happen, so I came up with a plan. I had to make him desperate enough that he'd totally need your help. Then he'd have to talk to you. So you chased away all the sheep. That threw the doctor into a total panic. You figure that in his desperation, he'd forget his shyness and talk to me. It does sound crazy looking back on it, but it worked. Except that since then, the sheep have been incredibly nervous and high-strung. Any little thing is enough to set them off stampeding out of their pens and into the wilderness. Cannot be good for them. I know, I feel terrible about the whole thing. All I wanted to do was help the doctor, but instead I've made him worried sick. Not to mention, years of research almost went down the toilet. If you're really sorry, you should tell the doctor what you did. No, I couldn't. What if he ended up hating me? If you don't, he's gonna keep worrying about what scared his sheep in the first place. Are you okay with that? You care for each other, don't you? Then tell him the truth. Yeah. We care for each other? What do you mean? That is to say, yes, we do, but... You said it yourself. He's a very shy man, but he talks to you easily enough. Seems to me he thinks of you as something more than just a colleague. Just talk to him. He'll understand. All right, I will. All right, so I will. You've been so kind to me, despite all the trouble I caused you. Got a cowgirl hat, y'all. Have you met a woman named Cornelia? Uh, she's a scientist. We are rivals. Who, anyway, there is something very. If you meet her, what? Need to go talk to Le Shafar. Welcome. What is this? Incroyable! Incroyable! No one would be able to find these ingredients. I shall pour my art and my soul into crafting this dish. I shall return. I shall return. It is ready. I have made it at last. The legendary dish, the Nora Special. Nora Special? Nora oh, Special. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I doubt that, mademoiselle. It is a name that only a select few elite chefs are familiar with. It is a dish no longer served, a legendary recipe that was almost lost to the mists of time. A dish last sampled 1,000 years ago, or so the stories say. For something that's so legendary, there's not much to it. It's not all that fancy or complicated, but at the same time, it smells great, like good home cooking. Vraiment, on the tongue, it is a reassuring pleasure. It evokes sun-dappled afternoons on the seashore, a masterpiece of subtlety. Sub it has been passed down to me over a thousand years. From one generation of chefs to the next, the recipe copied a hundred times. Until it came to me from my master. To make this dish is the greatest honor a chef can know. Somewhere my master is watching and is proud. The Nora Spacial. Please, you must have this. So many of these are like things the to help Nora you. Special. It reminds me of a place near the water. Of cool to help places. you know get the waves this damn waves. bird all good and I ready still remember Sarah how could I forget that was our hometown the place we grew up 
my freaking controller. Even now, a thousand years later, something of that time has survived. Imagine making a cooking recipe that has survived a thousand years. Granted, it wouldn't matter if you made it or not because, well, your contributions would have been forgotten simply due to the passage of time. Which is also sad if you think about it, but you know, whatever. to get up this, which is bullshit! No, that's if the food was a thousand years old, not the recipe, god dang it. This is a fine adventure. Wish I could blow. Looks like I hit the mark. <laughs> Not running into the mini plan every 20 seconds is amazing. Gosh dang it, this controller! I won't lose. You'll be reborn in a I feel like I buy a new controller like every eight months because I just break them. Ugh. <sighs> It doesn't say connected to... I I think the um, USB connector is slightly broken because it's constantly disconnecting and reconnecting, which actually breaks uh, certain programs I'm using. Could be. Also could not be. Who knows? It's a mystery. One, two. Hey. All kinds of folk. Different folk. Have... Very nice. Nice. That's 
good for me. I mean, it is what it is. Very nice. That's a fine. At least that's what father used to tell me. Oh yes, they smell wonderful, wonderful, full of loving care. When you feed those greens to your chocobo. I need to buy more vegetable seeds. Thanks to all your care, I feel like I, to tell you the truth, they put me in. Yeah, I had yeah, no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you have any vegetable seeds? Last. Look at him. He is the true angel in all his glory. For a hundred years, nay, for longer than that, I have dreamed of the day that I would see the true angel. <sighs> His destiny is to guide you to the goddess's temple, a temple that emerges from the side of a mountain, its entrance beyond the reach of any man. But this chocobo will catch the wind, and on wings of white, he will bear you across the crevices to that distant, forsaken place. As long as Sorala takes over, I'll take it. Tantal? Tantal greens. The folk over it. But pay them a bit. Yeah, you don't help me. You don't help me. Nobody helps me! There's somebody you can buy green, um, vegetable seeds from, but they, like, just sporadically appear in the overworld. Which really doesn't help me. Produce the fight. Dang it. Oh, thanks a lot. I made thanks a lot. I didn't buy anything from you, sarcastic son of a bitch. to turn in right here. Aha, we've done 25 quests on the canvas of canvases. I don't know. it wasn't an item and that's why you couldn't give it to Saz yourself right <clears throat> kind of it's something that's in my heart here I'll take it out for you right now give me a second here it's in my heart ah uh, what <laughs> how does that work here it is one freshly baked smile fragment just for you I'm just relieved it doesn't smell like anything. Thanks. I've got this now. No, thank you. I hope I've helped pay him back for everything he's done for me. Pay him back for what? Now would be as good a time as any to tell me who you really are. How do you know Saz and Dodge? 
And just exactly how did you end up with one of Daja's soul fragments inside you? <laughs> That's still a secret for me to know and you to find out. Remember, once you have all five fragments, give them to Saz, okay? And of course, I'll be there to witness everything. I promise. Chocoboco later! Chocoboco later! I think that things are beginning to come into focus. So Saz is looking for fragments of Dodge's soul. And one of the five fragments he's supposed to find is Dodge's smile. You smile, huh? I'd like I know, to see right? both of them do that again someday. Yeah, In our hearts. Yep. Hey, hey! What's happening over at Canopus Farms? Mighty strange. Never heard of anything like that before. You running off to Luxarian? Ran off. More like it. Ran off. Infusions of chaos in the area. They're all over Canopus Farms. Why would chaos suddenly appear across a single village like that? I have to check it out. Chaos. I'm treating. They're inside the chaos. I've got to get them to safety. Doctor, it's too late. Did all the villagers make it out okay? Yes, everyone is accounted for, except for the chocobos. They were too slow. I saw something in there. It was a chocobo eater. If we don't get those chocobos to safety fast, they'll be slain. Every last one of them. You want to help your fellows, is that it? I didn't need to ask. I've analyzed the chaos. The monster inside is too large to be a chocobo. I can only assume that it's a chocobo eater. We've already determined it's a chocobo eater, Hope. Am I dead? I've never seen a chaos infusion like this. Not only is it covering a large area, it's not losing any power. Odin, show me your strength. <laughs> Shine hope from the future. For the new world.
Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me. I couldn't do it. I couldn't save your friends. I can do this. Let me pray for them. It's no substitute for salvation. But at the very least, perhaps I can give them peace. Odin! My friend. You have to know, I am powerless. I couldn't save all the souls who yearned for salvation. With each failure, I grew more despondent. But even in my despair, I kept fighting. The bond we had, it transcended centuries. No matter how much we changed, I always felt your strength. Even in my darkest hours, you made me strong. Yeah, we got the Gagnarad. They all clap for me, but there's a bunch of dead birds around. Strength down 50%? What the fuck? Husk of an airship over there? I'd keep your dick. He almost never comes out. He didn't used to get any visitors, but lately. My eyes are getting tired. If you have some room in your field, I'd like to use a patch. <sighs> Do as you will. Wager about half a day. Hi, Gail. Crappy old fuck. That chocobo is the rumored angel of Valhalla, isn't he? The chocobo of legends. Now that I've seen him for myself, he does look rather regal. He's a lot more than regal. Oh, no offense. I know he's a creature of destiny, fated to lead his ordained master to the truth. So you know something about this legend? Of course. My team and I have been in this mysterious land for many years. We call this the Omega Point, the origin of the chaos that erupted and spread throughout the land over 500 years ago. It appears the source of the chaos is rumored to be hidden somewhere inside the Temple of the Goddess, out here in the Wildlands. We were sent out here to investigate the Omega Point, but because of the rocky terrain, there are still areas we haven't been able to reach. Unfortunately, the Goddess's Temple is one of them. But now that the Angel of Valhalla has decided to grace us with his presence... Exactly. With those wings, there's no doubt he can take you there. Many old remains have been discovered in this area. For example, do you see that over there? 
That's the wreckage of an airship that fell to the ground after getting sucked into the chaos. If only we could gather data from the wreckage. I'd be willing to bet it would be an enormous it took them to our research. 500 years to, to decide that happened back when the world first started to fall apart and they couldn't There's figure out how to go from right. a higher point promise we'll to a lower point detail of what happened but it would get us closer to the truth you guys could have easily figured out a way to do this you know that's all like oh my god piece of the puzzle is important the more we learn, the closer we get to the real truth. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, I'm in. I appreciate that. This device extracts data from objects. When you find something, once the device reaches its capacity, the light will... How many pieces? It varies by location and situation. Hmm, they need to go from here to like, you know... Over here? Gosh, if only they could have figured out a way to do this. Call these guys dumbasses, but that gives them the benefit of the doubt that they might have been a smartass. let time go a little bit. I need to get to be about 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. Fuck you too. investigate all five of the ruins because I can. God. Like, my hand hadn't even moved and it was just like, mm, we stop now. I'm like, no! And it's like, mm, yeah. And I'm like, no! It's like, mm, yeah. No. Nah. Mm, yeah. I hope there's still.
You're nothing but the hunter's prey. Let's pack up for the day! Are you on it? They are on it! No, controller! Now late enough for these to be the night. Yeah, we got the moon souls. Let's go. Now we need a lot of those. Like how much is a lot? Like a lot of lot. Scatter them easily. Why am I waiting until 8 o'clock? Because that's when a bunch of, like, uh, quests open up everywhere. That we need to do. Ugh. Ah, oh, it was just a silver medal. I needed freaking green. You're no match for us. I have a feeling we're close to beating another last one, or getting to another last one. This is the best area to farm up a bunch of the, uh, Harder enemies, larger enemies, like the Reavers, the Chocobo Eaters, simply easily. because you've got our Choco friend. Yeah. I see you really enjoyed that magic trick, Ahmad. You really enjoy that magic trick. <laughs> I know you said that 20 minutes ago, but I've been trying to think of a funny response, but I couldn't. I saw this coming. Why am I saying it like that? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> I got the guy immediately booted off of America's Got Talent. We can scatter them 
easily. It is. I wish I had my bow. I'm getting a signal. The indicator light is blinking. Looks like I got everything I need. Time to head back. No, nope. we're getting one more. There's a spectacular glitch that exists in uh, this game based upon one of your EP abilities on the final boss. If you change your FPS settings on PC from 60 to 30. I'll explain it when it gets there. I'm not gonna do it, but it's hilarious. I may have enough. Will this do? Excellent work. I'll analyze this information at once. Let's see here. This is rather unexpected. I've managed to detect what seems to be part of an audio file. Let's hear it. An audio file. That's not freaky. And that's where it ends. The pilot said he saw something impossible. What do you think that could be? I don't suppose it could be darkness of some sort. Perhaps it was the unseen chaos that supposedly sealed beneath Etro's temple. Who could he have meant by the woman? You don't suppose that could have been the goddess? That doesn't seem possible, but... The goddess? No, I don't think so. That would defy science. It was probably just the pilot seeing his wife's face flash before his eyes before he died. 
But what's that saying? Never say never. In order to produce a scientific explanation, we need to keep gathering more data. Still got a long way to go. Yes, but thanks to you, we're already a step closer. A little progress is better than no progress at all. I would say you're right. Things have been stagnant for a long, long time, as you know. That tiny bit of new information is an amazing discovery for researchers everywhere. You can't imagine the great gift you've given us all. Well, it wasn't all thanks to me. I couldn't have done it without this guy over here, the Angel of Valhalla. If you bring me the ingredients... Winged Angel. Watch out, Gabo will catch up uh, the Oh, look at that. Caught up to us by teleporting. Beating up all those fucks?
Oh, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> Let's do this, Odin. How are the slugs not gone? Why are they coming at me one at a time now? Where have all the soaps gone? Because it kept jumping out of the way, I just miss all of my heavy one-shot slashes. So I'm like, Aah. Absolutely wrecked. Odin, show me your strength. No more lies, just the truth. Do 
Together, we can do this. I won't lose. Now. Freaking nerd. Show me your strength. We're almost done with the Reavers, I think. Especially since they keep coming at us with a vengeance. Wish I had my bow. This is a fun adventure. Now you know. Lots more moon soul blossoms, though. Moon soul blooms. Sorry. Together we can do this. Even the stars die. Together, we can prevail! Together, we can prevail! You're nothing but the hunter's prey. Looks like I hit the mark. Oh, so you found where Yule's flowers. Odin, show me your strength. Teleport to 
nothing we can do in Luxarian, so we've got several things to do in Usnin. After all, you look absolutely beautiful. You're like an angel from heaven. Absolutely beautiful. I heard this beautiful. place serves a mean steak. Yeah, it's delicious, all right. But first, let's watch the fireworks, okay? See? Aren't they amazing? <laughs> you know, I really want to thank you for coming out with me. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm just here for the steak. Sure, sure. We're just eating, right? My girl won't get mad at me for that. Why do you still call her my girl? I thought she dumped you. Um, actually, about that, I kind of embellished things. When you saw me looking so blue, it wasn't because I was dumped. See, well, the thing is, me and my girl were engaged to be married. But then she died. It happened so suddenly. I was in shock. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, but then you came along, and I invited you out, and you said yes. And you even showed up. I mean, I didn't think you would. You don't know me from Adam. My girl and I had been looking forward to this day for weeks and weeks. She loved the fireworks of Yusan. She said seeing them made her forget about the end of the world. But then, all of a sudden, she was gone for good. I think she guided you here so I could enjoy the fireworks for us both. It sounds crazy, but it could be true. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Well, that was an easy quest. This is failable. If you don't show up the, later that day for this, you can't do it. And he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Easy quest. Easy life. Talk to him before seven, come here after seven, wear your Midnight Mave outfit, and then leave. Make a man feel better after losing his wife, partner. All right. Now there's like concentrated three or four more quests to do in here. The Knights of Light! That depends on what you want me to do. So who are you? Perhaps you've heard of me and my work. I am the man who uses forbidden alchemy to create the ensorcelled machine. Alchemists investigate the very essence of souls and life, the original natural philosophers. Alchemy is an ancient discipline with many rules and laws. And it pains me to confess I broke one of the most sacrosanct taboos of all. 
Look, if it's forgiveness you're after, why don't you talk to the priests? I seek redemption, but no priest can provide it. Behold, the fruits of my crime, the sorcery machine that I created. That's your doing? That thing powered by chaos? I had a feeling you'd understand. You could see its essence, can't you? Please, help me. Help us all! You have to destroy that thing! Already countless brave warriors have lost their lives at its hands. Killings are not gonna end until someone stops. Thank you. You're my last hope. It's grown far stronger than I ever imagined it would. With each vi- Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I ever thank you enough? The machine has been defeated, and at last his soul can rest in peace. You have saved him. You talk about that machine as if it was a living thing. Do you think machines have souls? No, of course not. But that one, it was special. It was not like any other machine in the world. The truth is, my brother's soul was inside it. Your brother? It was my doing. Alchemy was the key. It was forbidden magic. I knew that, but I yearned to try it. I took the soul of my living brother and placed it inside the machine. That's madness. Why would you do something like that? When people stopped dying of old age, I lost sense of the true value of life. When I carried out that experiment, it wasn't just my brother who died. Now that my brother's soul has been released at last, there's only one thing left for me. I must pay the ultimate price. You want to believe that dying will absolve you, but you know that's not true. It's the coward's way out, that's all. If you really care about redemption, then you have no choice but to keep on living. You have to regret what you did for the rest of your life, until the end comes. And if I do that, if I live for eternity, suffering the guilt of my crime, will I find forgiveness in the end? Will the guilt ever be lifted? I wish I could promise it will, but either way, you owe it to yourself and the men who died, whether or not it brings forgiveness. Yeah. You again? Then go. Then go.
play with fire, you get burned. performance indeed. I'd welcome a star like you any night. Good day to you. Don't sneak up on me. What do you want now? Aren't you worried about Saz? Don't you feel like you've just got to do anything to help him? I'm concerned if that's what you mean. There's my savior. Oh, poor old Saz. He hasn't had anything to smile about in forever. I really want to make him happy again. You know, I stop by his house from time to time to check on him. I don't believe you for a second. As if someone like you would be worried for him. Ouch. That hurts, you know. I've been working my butt off for him. Do you know how hard it was for me to find that coffer of souls for Saz? What kind of gratitude? Tell me the truth. Can that thing really help Dodge? Saz has put all his hope in that box. It would be cruel if that were a lie. Oh, so now you don't think I'm cruel? Ah, you think I'm not that cruel? Alright, um... So I got that. Oh, I know which one now. Someone in the auger quarters. Maybe the chaos appears because we all the divine statue is broken. Excuse me. Today. Because she might turn me down, or even worse, think I'm a creep. Then I couldn't sit here and watch her anymore. That would be awful. But I've got to do something. I can't go on living like this. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to give her a present. That's what guys do, right? Give presents to the girl they like? She's obviously into fashion, so I'm going to give her an adornment. You know, something trendy she'd like. Sounds like a good plan. What are you waiting for? Go get her the present. I, I want to, but the adornment I want is so popular that you have to be at the shop right when it opens so you can nab one before they sell out. 
But I always have to work then, and I can't afford to take time off. <sighs> if only I could get that present. I would totally go up to her. <sighs> Gift glasses. All right. I'll go and buy it for you. You, you will? Thanks. If you did, I could talk to Candace. Here's the flyer from the shop. It has all the details you need. Shop opens at 3 oh, p.m. Don't forget to get it wrapped. With a ribbon and everything. Blight, you're being unusually kind to these two. Are you saying I'm usually not kind to people? I'm not sure what it is. There's just something about them that makes me want them to get together. In that case, the right present should do the trick, I'd say. And I don't think he'll act without one. Listen to you. between three and five. Well, that'll be the thing we do next time, I guess. <laughs> I must know these things for a reason. Perhaps more memories that God has suppressed. Anyway, back to your quest. It looks like the adornment Tomesa wants is sold by a shop in the Champion's Quarter. It sells out fast. Over here. I don't think there's anything else for us to do in here until then, though. So, so. you should aim to be there right when the shop opens. Got it? Oh, well. That'll be what we do next time. So, anyway, that is going to be it for us today. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody. Dave! I'm Gopro.